finished all five pages and of course here and there needs some um, finishing touches but it's done I'm not going to make another one because I think it's already nice and um, we do need something for the cover of course so I have still have this left uh, we do need some for the in inside cover um, so yeah this is what I have left and a few black pieces not much but a few and then um, okay the cutout and a few postcard images so and a few little pieces here and there okay so let's see what size we want of this um, and I'm just grabbing my cup of tea and I'm gonna going to think what binding system I like and I do like that double uh, double piece so I think it's going to be a waterfall hinge that's easy going so we need that extra half inch on here and we do have that insert is going on and I do like a little tap on the back so I think we need to do a nine and a half <coughs> cover wideness so that's <coughs> sorry it's not even early in the morning <coughs> 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 So let me write this just down for myself. Nine and a half. It's the first thing I write down. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be a nine and a half inch. And then white. Um, yeah, I do like it a little bigger, just a little. So a page is five and a half, so I think a six is good so nine and a half by six and then the thickness we do like space so i'm not going to make an album that is too tight we do like that space we have five pages and if we do like that space for um a half inch there's one two three four five um, one, two, three, four, five. At least we need a three inch, but I want just a little more white. I think I'm gonna add a three and a half inch. Well, that's a lot. Mm. Mm. But I want to go to the inside. I think three is enough. Then we have that half inch for the cover and then this is the first one at the half inch and then one the second one and a half the third at two the fourth and at two and a half the fifth and then three is going to be the next cover shall that be enough I think it is but I just want to be sure. So let's say I am going to make the spaces a little bit wider. Let's say a 5 of an 8. 5 of an 8. For me that's 1.5. So then it's easier to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it's going to be a 9. And yeah, then we are at the 3.5 inch. I think I want that. I want it to be expandable. Not, yeah, I'm gonna do a three and a half. I don't want this album to be too tight. Oh, okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay. Three and a half inch. Alright, so let me cut that chipboard and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay, so that's how it is. Nine and a half by six inches and the spine is three and a half. Okay, um, 
yeah for those who have centimeters it's well keep it nine I'll tell you nine is the spine this is inch and then this is 15 and a half and then of course this is also 15 and a half and then this is let's measure correct it's 24 centimeters so these are the Dutch European measurements okay it's a real quick <laughs> dirty note but not, not dirty but a messy handwriting <laughs> okay so let's make the cover and I'm gonna use again my leftover pieces I just need to use these more because otherwise they will get in the trash and that's that's a total waste of money so I don't do that I'm gonna use it but I think I need no I think I need a few but just use it to use what you have and before you buy another one Let's see. Now we first have to glue these together. But now let's start first with these. Of course, it's better than using a full sheet. But can you imagine if I threw that away in the trash? Oh my god, that's a total waste. So nope, I don't do that. I am not any waste of paper. We just use it all. Just use it all, girl. Put this nice on each other. Yep, this is nice sticky, I know. Yeah, that's good tape. <laughs> okay, so the first one, I'm just going to let this in the middle, otherwise I do have that on top. Hmm. I don't think that it's a good idea. So I'm just going to place this in the middle. And I can cut that down already. Let's use some scissors. That is doable cutting adhesive materials. Now I bet you think, oh my gosh, she is totally messing it all up, but no, I'm not. I'm just using all my pieces that I do have. And of course, this is not that perfect, but it's good to me. Okay, so now I'm just going to place that aside and grab the other two and you will not see those edges when you are done but of course you can use a full sheet or you can use paper or whatever you are used to use for covering up a come on a cover yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's use them too. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. A few moments later. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tadam pom pom, tadam pom pom. Ti 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 ti. Not with your fingers. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to attach this piece on here. Shall we do that? Is that a wise idea? I don't know. I think it is. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, stay away at least three to four millimeters away from that other chipboard. I always eyeball that. So I think I need a new. Oh, that was this for. Yes, 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 yes. See, you, I do like puzzles. <laughs> well, you have a good piece, so you don't have to do this kind of magic. <laughs> But I just don't want to throw everything away. So, and, I'm, and I'm going to burnish that down in just a second. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut all the way around what I don't need. And then I yeah, try to cut a bit to it. The people are watching you. Okay, I do the best I can. <laughs> Perhaps I'm off camera right now, but that cuts just a little easier. Okay, let's turn it over. Oh yeah, this is totally a nice go with the flow video. <laughs> well, you want to see me doing everything, so because and I still don't understand why because I show this every single project, but okay. I just let the camera roll. Okay, so now I am almost done. <laughs> I'm gonna cut these corners a little shorter. And I'm just going to keep away from that edge. Just, yeah, how much? Let's say two, two three, yeah, three millimeters. I think that's too much, but two at least okay here we go now we can scroll all back in here so let's pull that contact paper Onto the chipboard. Pull and rub it in. Pull. And now I'm going to use my bone folder. Which I got from Lucy. Lucy, it is an absolute stunning thing. Yes, okay. Let's turn this over and let's go to this side. Pull and push. Pull and push. Squeeze that in. Use your hands. Pull, push. So it's nice against that. Chip off. Yes, I like that. Okay, now use your bone folder and just go in that corner. See? 
I just fold this in and then squeeze and push. And if there is just a little off, then you just can cut that off. Okay, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna squeeze that corner in and then push and pull. So all the air bubbles are out. Okay, then I go to the other side and I'm going to squeeze everything in that chipboard. Wow, that went fast. Cool. So that it is. Cool, 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 cool. That's nice. Okay, now before I go further, I am going to make that closure. Um, let's see. I don't think this is the same size. Yeah, I do cut that in half. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. So this is one meter. And I'm going to cut this in half because I want to make a nice ribbon closure. Now how much do we need to make a nice bow? I think we can glue this down the half of the album and then I think we have still enough to make a nice bow. Okay, so let's grab some tape and you know, can I eyeball this in the middle or do I like a little hand to see what's in the middle that is not to be seen. Let's just make a few marks. That's the middle. Hmm. Do I see that? Hardly, but and I do like two pieces. Okay, let's glue this on. And let's do exactly the same thing on the other side, of course. That is that. That's how simple it is. So that will be the closure. Okay. That's good. That's pretty simple. Okay, next step. Okay, before I go further with the outside, we are. Uh, someone gave me a tip last week. Uh, I always like to try it out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try that out too. So what I did first is, well, I will not use it right now, but I do have a piece of bookbinders linen, which I'm going to use in a sec, not just right now, but it's five one fourth and by six. So this piece fits right here. And it's just to make sure that the, the corners of this uh, spine is be safe, so it's not going to be tear down in any way. But first I'm going to check out the inside. And um, I'm going to do first the, yeah, what I was trying to say is, well, I'm going to do first the 
inside. Let's do something strange for a change. So I'm gonna cut a piece of paper. Uh, I need more, so I'm gonna cut right away two pieces. And I'm gonna start in the middle to glue this down. Uh, cut just could be just a little millimeter shorter. This is way better. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this, and sometimes I do get that question that the spine is crinkly now. This is my tip of the day, but I do that always. <laughs> I apply some tape on the chipboard too. Especially here on these openings. So your paper is attached way better in between here. So now I'm gonna apply some tape all the way around oops so that won't go anywhere okay tear it down not tear it down oh my gosh no 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 take it off that's the thing that we're going to do now mm -mm 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 -mm. okay oh yeah sticky 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 now peel this off use some extra glue of course only that tape is not enough we need to use some adhesive extra clear glue or whatever glue you like to use okay that's enough <laughs> all right so let's apply this on its place and especially do this in the middle so there isn't any extra paper in that opening you can better have that space on here <clears throat> then you have that in that opening you don't want that so now i'm gonna cut this in two That's just the side or size we need. Okay, let's put some tape on. That was my little tool. And this is just a stamping tool, guys. It's no special double-sided tape tool. No, it's just, you can use a clear block or a small ruler or anything. Anything what's nice flat, but I do like this handle, especially with my long nails. It's difficult to pick up some things, and I do like handles. I wish that this ruler had a handle too, but no, 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 no. I'm not complaining. I love, I love that ruler. Okay, but I do love things with a handle. Let's put some glue on here we go I don't know why I flipped that but no special need for that oh yeah to go and I like this as close as I can to the edges so nothing will come loose 
when you are using this. Now, you probably think, why do you apply everywhere black paper? Well, it gives the cover just that extra thickness. I just prefer using that. Everything is on its place. <laughs> and when it does, then we just see where that opening is and we just be gentle, move your bone folder in that opening and just fold it double, push it down. Now I'll go to the other side, watch where your fold line, your opening is, and then again, just give it a little hand, not too hard, you don't want to ruin your opening, and just push it down. So your paper is nicely in that opening right here. Now I see my glue is not attached perfectly on here, but it will be. Now it is. Yep, it is. Just a bit here. Okay. Now I see that I need to do this a bit more. So I still have to need that strength. checking because I do like everything perfectly flat. Yep, I think I got it. Yes. Cool. Alright, so now let's see for the hinges. Okay, so we have five pages. Uh, let's grab one. We have five pages with that opening. So the hinge the, does not need to go um, more than this opening. Okay, so yes, we did make that album a little wider than the pages are. So our hinges needs to be the same size as the pages okay so let's grab some leftover pieces and we need to cut these down the same size and I believe the size was five and a half inch so let's make a few hinges a few leftover pieces you can cut at five and a half four Three, four, five. Okay. Let's cut this at five of a half. Oh yeah. That's the only terrible thing on this Fiskars. Five and a half inch do not ha exist on my Fiskars. It's the only negative thing I can think of. So let's do this right like this. Oh, that's pretty happy, Diane. Yeah, but it does it. It does, it does, it does. Okay, so now we have the P. 
pieces. And let's see. Let's fold it. Okay. Let's grab a scoring board to score these hinges. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna score at a half and at one and the rest I will leave it on. So yeah, I can't say that I cut my pieces at two inches and then I scored at a half and at one and then I have one inch left. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna do on every one. Half and one. And I know the openings are five eight, but I especially do this one. Because I'm still going to cover up the insides. So it's not a mistake that I score this at one, uh, a half inch. <laughs> okay, so let's. And you have to be very careful of scoring these. You don't want these to be not straight. Okay, so then this is what you end up with. A little longer, right here, and a shorter one. And the shortest one comes on here, on that black paper. Now, what I did was already I drew some um, lines, pencil marks on it. Do you see that? Yeah, you see that. See? And I started in the middle making a mark and from here on I make a 5 8 uh, another mark and another 5 8 and same here on this side and that leans me that left me a half inch on each side so that is how I did that okay so first of all I'm gonna score no, I'm just going to burnish these all. Let's do this together. So, I think the school is out. <laughs> Last one. Here we go. Now it's time to apply these. And um, yeah, I think it's time. Let's put some tape on. This as close as I can to that edge. Okay, now mine is not completely, but the glue will do that. So let me first do the first one. So I'm gonna use double sided glue, but I'm also gonna use my art glitter glue. And I don't forgetting the edges. You want this to be safe and sound. So take your time. Take your time. Okay. Let's glue down the first one. So I am starting at the bottom, following that mark that I just made. There we go. Okay, 
that's the first one. Okay, let's do the other one. I'm just sticking it with you. I'm not going anywhere. Doing it again. Nice, straight, double-sided tape. I'm gonna fold this already. Use your glue, especially on the edges, on the top and bottom. And at the bottom. Okay. Follow that line. Always liked it part, but yeah, it takes time, but you don't have to wash anything. If you're gonna wash this, then the complete album is falling apart. So that is not what we want. Take your time. Then I have time to chat with you guys because do you know what I just did? I went to the bakery and I got myself a nice, um, I call that, um, pie? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> because I do have something to celebrate today. Yes, today is the day. Today we are 30 years together with the same man. <laughs> oh, how stood that up with it. <laughs> yes, of course I can. He's just an easy man, so. I'm easy. He is easy, so that is why we stood up with each other so long <laughs> okay um, so yeah it's a special day and I have to say uh, this morning I did not remember it but my daughter said oh my gosh the flower store is closed today I want to get a nice piece of flower for you but it's closed today I thought well that's not your job but thanks for notifying me that it is that date today. So lovely. Okay, so now the last one, we are not going to push it to the same side. Now we did all this way. Now this piece, I want it the other way around. So that's nicer. I want it this way. So I don't have anything on this side. Okay. Now let's put some tape on. So I called my mom and my mother-in-law. And if they want to join me today, tonight, for a nice piece of cream pie. I don't know how you call it. Chocolate is in it. Banana is in it. Hmm. It's not good for my weight, but oh, sometimes you just have to say yes. Especially on special times, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, now glue it in. Same as the other ones. Just on that mark. And having it nice to wait. Now you will think this is not that special. It's just a waterfall hinge. It's not new at all, I know. But someone told me 
why not use some brats to keep this more secure? Oh, hmm, okay, that's not a bad idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find me some nice strips that I'm gonna add first, and then I'm gonna come back to you and I'm gonna add some brats in here. I think three. One, two, three, just yeah. Okay, so Lucy, I am gonna try your tip. <laughs> it's your video this time. <laughs> okay, I choose for the flower ones. Uh, two blue ones, two red ones. So yeah, cool. Now I made a template where I want to add the boards in. So yeah, that's just easy. You can cut the same size as you glue this down. And I'm starting in the middle and then yeah, a bit off the end. So I think that's handier. So I don't have to measure all the time. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna do. One, two, three. This piece. One, two, three. Yeah, and I've, I have absolutely no idea if this do more on an album. I don't know, but I can imagine that it will be perhaps a bit better. I don't know, especially, yeah, these pages are getting a little thick, so perhaps it's better, I don't know. So I'm just going to add these one by one. See how that ends up. Oops. Now, there's just one thing I can say, it's not ugly. It isn't. So if this means that it will stay nice tight to the spine, then then I think it's a great way. Okay, let's flat cool okay hmm. yeah this is really not going anywhere but I think if you use good glue and tape then I think it will not go anywhere too but hmm I like that so I'm gonna do that on the other three pieces and then I'll come back to you. Oh, it just was my favorite song. Oh, I hate to turn that off. Um, okay. Come here, you little one. Okay, so what I did was I cut out the strips again. Lost, still love these. Yeah, perhaps you are thinking it's way too much black and white strips. But I can't use them enough. I love these. So, um, so that is what I add on the extra hinge, that extra opening. And I added some double-sided tape. And I did not glue the double-sided tape too close to the score line. We do want a bit of... And then I'm going to cut... Just a little angle off, and I'm got. I'm only gonna cut off till that first fold line, not the second one, the first one. Okay, I'm gonna show you 
how I cut this. See? Till the first fold line. Not the second one. The first one. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's do the other way. Two. And why I do this, this will makes it so easy to slide your tunnel pages over this hinge. Trust me, that is super easy. Okay. So now we have done the inside. Now we can go back to the to the outside because I'm not going to glue in the pages just yet. I am now going to search on the outside. Further. Cool. Like this. Yep. Okay. Let's go to the cover. Okay, so the back side looks like this and it's pretty flat, so that's cool. Now I'm gonna add my book binder linen first. Um, it's an option. Um, if you like, you can add this later. If you like that the book binder linen comes a little bit over the edge. If you like to see that, then just wait for this. I am not going to do that this time, just because... Um, yeah, I don't know actually. Why do I do that? We have plenty of time. Plenty. Hmm. Still an option. Let me think. <laughs> but I always like to use some ribbon then. And I don't know if that's still an option because could be it could be still an option even I put some black on the back because we're still gonna do the inside covers of course so yeah it's still an option what do you think perhaps it will short down this long front if we have a nice edge oh Okay, now I am wondering what I like to do. Shall we do that? I think that's nice. I think yes, of course, why not? Let's do, let's go crazy. <laughs> so that means that I have to put this away just a minute because I am gonna first do some black and it's not necessary to put an extra black sheet on this cover but yeah i like the sturdiness like i told you before why i did that on that on the background i just like the sturdiness of it so i'm gonna use some extra black cardstock at the front just yeah it's just a habit of mine. I don't know why, but I think it gives the chipboard just that extra touch. And if we have enough cardstock, then why not? Why not use it? Okay. Yep, let's go to the other side. Let's peel this off. And again, let's apply some extra glue on the edges. In the middle. OK, 
Okay. Now it's time. To put some book binders linen on. And okay, let's see. This is nice flat. Yes, it is. I always like add some, especially on the edges, just a bit extra. Perhaps it's not needed, but yeah, you know me. I do like it good. Okay. Now I do like this to bend a bit. I like to start at the bottom. I'm just going to eyeball this. Start at the bottom. Lay this nice flat. And then gently move. So it's on its place. That is good. Be gentle with this because you don't want the boat coming to this book binder thing. But I'm gonna I'm gonna add something, some paper on the spine. Okay, but then it looks like this. Yeah, I think I always like this. I don't know why, but I do like this a bit. So let's say I have to search for a nice thing on the edge. And I think I have that oh, really close. So that's the one. This one. All of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's come back to you. Yes, I think this is a nice one to cover this up. And I don't have to wrap it around. So yeah, that's cool. This is nice. Okay, let's use this. Or I always can use some paper strip. That's also useful. But for now, I'm going to see what I like at the front Ooh. let's see what I want so let's grab this page and see how far this goes and which I do like this image or that Humpty Dumpty But I do like this image more, so I'm definitely going to use that image. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. I cut out the wet line, gone, and um, now let's see. Here is that edge. So I want to use this right here with this line. And here is that edge. So actually I need to cut down this piece. But I still want to use that mother goose thing. So the best way is to cut off. But I don't want to cut off this um the sky because I was thinking if I cut this then I can move this but then the words are not the same but I can cover that up of course with perhaps some wet hmm. okay let's see Let's see how can I accomplish that. Well, this needs to go over here just a bit. So I'm just going to 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This needs to short down just this. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this first. Just along that mother goose piece right here. Okay. Then if I move this to here, of course this is too short. But if I cut this down, this is how can we do this? We can, we can, we can do this. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut out a bit of this word as nice as possible. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see. Move this in between. See, that went well. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's just a little more. Just a tiny bit. So this can be done like this. Okay, what do you think about this? Is this something that you like? It's almost perfect. Almost. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? That's an option. That is an option. Yeah, of course, these lines, like the tree, when you notice that, do you notice that? I don't know. It's just an option. I must think about that. Just a bit longer. <laughs> okay, I cut out. What did I cut out? I cut out this piece. Right here. I cut out that mother goose. That mother goose. I cut out the right side of this piece. And I cut out that little left side piece. So I have left this piece. <laughs> and now what I did was, that's handier for me, I picked out a white cardstock which is exactly the size as the cover so that's easier to work on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this all up I'm starting with this piece right here and let's make a puzzle and so at the end, when it's done, 
we have the perfect front of our album. At least that is the intention. Okay, so just move it on. this completely so I can cut this down right here okay let's cut it down okay let's see yep that fits perfectly. There we go. Let's glue it down nice to each other. Now don't mind that the words are not equal. I am gonna think of something. Nice. Now I go to this side. I'm gonna add this as perfect as I can on this side. I was thinking if I do not glue this all down, then we still have a nice tuck spot. Ooh. Okay, is that an option? Do we like something here? Oh, why not? Why not? Let's use it. Let's use it. And it only has to be a little top spot, so... is be nice attached okay make that even make those lines even this piece right here but now we have too much flowers and we still want to use that mother goose I think the postman is here but I believe someone is at home but this one fits perfectly to cover this piece, this empty cut out piece. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what I like to do is to cut this piece off. Now, see, I need to cover up this cut out. Okay. And then I need to cover up that bit right here. And then I still can move this till here. But then it's not completely covered up. Let's move this a little bit to the left. Yes. That is perfect. I'm gonna first glue the bottom down and then a bit later the flower. This is a nice puzzle. 
Yes, it is. Wait just a second. Where was it needed? Mm -hmm. Here. Yep, here it is. Okay. Then we go to the corner, and now we only need till here. Oh yeah, this is a nice puzzle. <laughs> okay, let's use this. Watch if all the lines are nicely attached everywhere. Yes, that is okay. Look how cool this is. Making our own nice frame. And now we just can add this. This is completely paper. Just a little. Cool. I like that. Okay, let's glue it on. Okay, I like how this turns out. Just a little bit. This is cool, and now I can add a little under that flower. Okay, burnish that down. Yes. Yep. I like that. Now we have a pocket. Oh, okay. That is cool. That is cool. 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 Okay. Now um, we can. I do not know if I have enough. Let's see how much do I have from this wet one. Um, Let's see, I have two long ones. Um, oh yeah, we can we can use this. <gasps> yes, perfect. Let's cover that up. Or we can use also the black. Yeah, but then the words will not match. That is not good. We do not like that. So I'm just going to use this piece right here. Let's see how that goes. That's one. This should go right there. Then the bottom. Is here. I do you like to talk to yourself? Yes, I am. This is only cover up a little leaf, but no worries. This fits right there, and this fits here. Now, what do you think? Is this something you like or is this absolutely hateful? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Is it too much wet? I don't know. Is it too much? Is it too much wet? Mm. Well, what other options do we have? Oh. We also have this piece. I could have made this black. Wait just a second. What if I do this with black? Is this better? Perhaps it's better. I don't know. Hate to cut you, but it's necessary. It's ne this is definitely the good size of it. So, what size is it? 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just try it out. Let's, I think, this, but then a bit shorter. I think this piece. Okay. Let's just try it out. You know I like to try. Oh, I hear that a lot of people at home. So I have to stop. I have to stop. But I don't like to stop. Mm. I think black is better. That gives the other other colors a bit more peace. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I definitely want to finish this page. Yeah, I think black is way better. Yes. No thinking further, just do it. Just apply. Cover those words. I'm very sorry that we need to do that, but it's necessary. I cut it all off. <laughs> yes, that's better. This does the trick, don't it? Doesn't it? Our homemade... Where was that other piece? Oh yeah. Our homemade front page. Is that something we did? Mm-hmm. We can do magic with just a little cutout and trying and things out. So I'm glad I saved the front page for this page. Cool, 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 cool. Now don't throw these strips away. We can use them still. We are, have plenty to do. So save them, save them. Perhaps we can use this, who knows. But I like it. That is cool. Close look. Isn't that amazing? I like it. So shall we put it on? I bet this is the front. This right here. Cool. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to smooth the edges. And then I'm going to use some double sided tape. Because I want to keep this perfectly on the front page. Oh la 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 la, I'm happy. I'm always happy when a cover is turning out just the way I like. It's not boring, it's not too busy, I think. <laughs> Just how I like it. Mm. 
Okay, using some extra glue. All the way around. Okay, this is not going anywhere. Okay, white spots. Put it on. Put it on the right spots. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. It does. This is just perfect. And I did always tell my mom or anybody who is familiar with for the, I always told Mother Goose is not my thing. Hmm, okay. I take my words back, guys. I love it. But I still believe that the black and white papers does the magic to easy the papers down. Isn't this amazing? Cool. Yep, nice ribbon as a closure. Cool, 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 cool. And now this. Do we want this? What? Neil, where? What sock? And then heeft hij lol. What do we want on here? I was saying that I wanted to do something here. Hmm. I don't know yet. I will sleep about it. But first, I am going to have some dinner with my family. Especially going to do the black and white on the edge. If I have something left, then I will. But other things are perfect too, of course. Oh, that's also nice. That's coming back in the front. Ooh, now I can't choose. This or this. Okay, but I will think about it. That's That all depends on which papers we have left. Okay. Go away! He's annoying me, so I will stop. Bye-bye. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I finished the cover, which I did off camera. Such a mess. Um, but, yeah, that needs time and to see what I want. And yeah, so this is the front. I will leave it like this. Um, I think this does I, I think if I put something on here it does not do the trick so and this I have for the side bedtime story and this little lamp with a girl and this little strip on the side I thought that would be perfect to match at the front and then at the back I have that other uh, piece that's the same sheet on this one I cut it out and I put it on this layout Okay, so the black and white and the green one and the red background match perfectly. So that is for now. I will leave it. So let's go to the inside. I am gonna add... Shall I add... Yep, I think I'm gonna add the pages. And then I'll see. I do not have much paper left. So I have to see what I'm gonna do on the inside. Not much, but we still have quite a few bits here and there. So let's see. But first I'm gonna add the pages. Yes, so I'm not gonna change about that any longer. Let's just add it. And actually when I was walking through a bit, um, it was, I started pretty simple. And yeah, when we are doing this uh, doing um, on and on, 
it gets difficult and difficult and yeah but yeah that's just me ah okay <laughs> all right so the first one let's do it okay um let's see normally i used to start at the back so let's first see how it all work out dry and dry means how it ends if i put it all in now some pages needs to be fixed still but let's see Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to a dry testing. Why is it called a dry testing? Is there a wet testing? <laughs> no, there is not. But I'm just going to test it out before I glue it in if there is anything that's in the way and I think yeah it's still very good so that is good yep everything fits very very nice so yeah I'm just going to start at the back so peel this off and why I made this one inch is well the pages are pretty long so i definitely want that this page is going to be hold down that's for certain so i'm gonna add and of course we have plenty of space to make a nice insert so So that is why I kept this longer. Okay, so I'm just going to move this on its place. And of course there is a little, let's add some more. Okay, that's one. Now you saw me doing this. It's way easier and now I still can add glue on it just to be sure okay am I straight in this so yeah okay let's push it down cool and so on and on and on perhaps a little less glue on the next one okay so peel it off and the back i make just a little zip right there now it's better to put not as much glue on the bottom See if that is better. Is this the right way? Yes, this is the right way. <laughs> it still get a little messy because you move that over, but it's quick dry glue, so not messy at all. Okay. And now we can peel this off and we still can add just a little glue in. Ta-da! Ta-da! 
Here we go. Let me move this for just a moment. Push it down and then peel this piece off. Squeeze a little glue in here. Cool. I like it. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we still have so much to do. So I definitely not going to make it too hard on the inside covers. I'm going to try as less paper as possible to use because we still need something in here and the inserts we can keep it plain so that is just for photos Come on. Hello, Mr. Here we go. Yes. There we go. Now peel this off. See it here is also a big tag. Which we still need to do something on. I hope I did not regret that I made a page 5. But we'll see how we manage. First, let's do the inside covers. And then I'm going to put these back for just a moment. Otherwise, I do not know where it all should go see that is for that one and these were for here okay yes the last one Okay, this is the first one. I think this is the tennis one. Let's push it down. Here we go. Last piece. Last piece. Yabbity yabbity do. Cool. I always love that when it's in and then it becomes more and more an album. Yay! So much stuff going on. Okay. Cool. So, yep, first page. Cool, just a simple one, simple closure. Yeah, me and my big nails. Okay, uh, here we go. And then here, and we have that envelope with that tag. And this we just did. I just need to really quick see what is needed. Well, 
I think we managed pretty good already. This is automat. This is a booklet. Okay, and we have oh, this is keeping in the way. So that is not good. Okay, all right, we have a large one right there, which we still need to do. Here we have that pocket. So, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so we have to do that. Here is that swing top. I thought this was ready also. Yes, this is also ready, 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 ready. Ready, set, go. Okay, pocket, pocket, open, pocket. Yeah, so this is actually also done. This opens up. This is also well. I think we have it quite done. Um, oh yeah, and then we have this one, which we completed. And then, yeah, this is also done. Oh, that's just one tag here and two booklets here and that big tag. Okay. Oh, that is no big deal. Cool. And uh, you see, I have managed that there is still plenty of space for adding photos that is what i like i don't want this too big and so you don't have any place for photos i don't like that so yeah this is cool plenty of space in here all right so let's go to the inside what do i want on the inside let's see about that